we could have solved this uh, challenge in a way more simple and clean way using hooks and sim procedures. So we can use hooks when we want to inject symbols during execution, like we wanted to do in by uh, scanf. So if you have an infinite loop or a kind of a more complex function, or in like in the moon case, a C is called, we can use hooks. Uh, in Angular, the recipe would be basically we find the problematic function, we look at its address, uh, and which is the address that we want to skip, and we run our own code instead. Then we check the number of bytes we want to skip, which can be zero in the case that we want to run our own code in addition to the binary code, and we write a function that we want to be executed instead of the complex or one or the syscall. So it works basically this way. We, we have a program that it's expecting an input, it has a weird complex function or a syscall, and then the normal code um, using the, the return of this complex function is going to be used in a way that uh, is like a condition for us to get the flag. So what we do, we create first a better function that is going to be uh, used to substitute the uh, complex function or even overwrite it. And the hook is going to be exactly right before the function that we want to hook or to overwrite or to add. So that the code that we want to skip or overwrite is going to be jumped. And then the normal code will going to be executing using the return of my function and not the one from the complex function. So what we need to use uh, hooks and sim procedures is first the address that we want to hook. In our case of the moon would be the scanf function, for example, or anywhere that we want to put our hook. We need to know how many bytes we want to skip, if we want to skip something. And then we want also to write this better function that it's Python, so it should be easy to write. Uh, you could have solved, as I said before, the moon challenge using this function, like this technique, using hooks and creating a sim procedure. It's going to be a homework. Uh, we are going to see some examples of it when we are solving the binary pump.